Hello my Dotty family and welcome to my channel. Come and join me on this magical journey through the world of dot art, ladybugs and daisies. I'm Zelda from the Fairy Realm and that's exactly what we're going to do with a new design today. So this is an intermediate design. If you are a beginner, please go and have a look at my fundamentals playlist. I'll put it up here. And then you can try out some of the beginners ones which you can also fly, find under my playlists. Okay, so for the rest of you, I'm going to use white, true yellow, green, clear blue, cherry red, and then just black for this specific design. Okay, they're also gonna go in that order. So if you wanna change the colors, um, I would recommend keeping, because for the daisies, obviously we're going to use the center um, as the yellow. And then whatever, if you want to make your daisies a different color, then just replace white with that. Although we are going to use white on the ladybugs as well. And then of course the ladybugs are going to be red with black spots. Unless you want to change those colors as well. So if you've built your canvas like i show you how to in the structure lines under the fundamentals video i'll put the link here you can make one with 14 equal sections okay please make sure you have 14 and even count the lines to see if you have 14 uh, stencils available on my etsy store and also quick downloadable and stencils that you can cut out immediately if you're going to be ordering enough to wait uh, for the other stencils to arrive we're going to start off using the big ball tool, the green one, and we're going to dip that in our white paint. And with the inside circle, you're going to start where the edge of the circle is and then just drag in towards the center. So on each and every section, like that. So that will do the inside. And then we're going to take our three millimeter tool. And we're going to make a dot on every single straight line. And that we're going to do in color number three, or the green. Next, we're going to take our five millimeter tool and we're going to move on to color number four, which is your red. And you're going to do alternate spacing. So in other words, in between each of the green dots you previously made. is already starting to look like a magical field of flowers and ladybugs then we're going to move up to your seven mold tool and we are moving up to color number five which is the blue and now we're going to do the alternating again. So we're just jumping back onto the straight lines. Then we're going to take our 10 millimeter tool 
and in yellow we are going to dot every second straight line so just keep count so my yellow is a little bit transparent and that's why I'm just double dotting it so that we don't have that transparency when the paint dries Next, in your 4mm and white again, going to make a dot just above the previous one. And then we're going to bolt the petals. So I'm going to make a 3 more dot, one on each side. Then I'm going to walk my dog down each side. So I'm sticking to the theme of the daisy here with the same colors. Two, three, four. Walk the dog five times for me down each side. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to do another layer of petals. So, uh, because remember how I said we go up in size this way and down in size that way. So the last one we started with was the four mole. So in other words, we need to do the next in the five mole. So five mole we are going to do in red. Then I'm going to go down in size. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go four more, one on each side. Then before we take the dog for a walk, we should not forget the baby at home, which is the three more. I'm going to do that one first also, one on each side for all of them. And then lastly, with the big ball tool, you're going to walk the dog one, two, three, four, five, six times down each side. And we're going to do one more layer. So this was four more, that's five more, which means I'm going to start with a six. I'm going to do a five on each side, a four on each side, a three on each side, and then I'm going to walk the dog down again. It's probably going to go to about here. It's not going to go all the way down. So we'll see how many that works out to when I do this. Okay, so I ended up walking the dog five times down each side. Now we're going to start prepping the leaves um, that are going to run on the outside. So they're going to be quite large. Alright, so what I've done is I have added a little bit of water in here, like a drop, literally a drop. I just dipped my tool in water and added in here and stirred it up because I want the paint to be quite runny. And so that it can dry a little bit flat because I'm going to be doing a lot of detail on top of it. So with your 13 mole, you're going to just like double dot so you have quite a bit of paint. You're going to do that on every intersection here. If your lines are not running like mine, then basically where this dot ends, it's in line with where the next one starts. So like that, 
I'm loading it quite with a bit of paint because we are going to drag that out to make the leaves. Then with my 4mm tool, I'm going to make a dot on the straight line touching the 13mm dot, like that. Then I'm going to take the all ball side of my tool, so the one that's got all the same sizes, and I'm going to connect those two like that. So what I'm doing here is I'm forming a leaf. You see it looks like a leaf. Just spread the paint out so that it can dry relatively flat because we are going to be dotting on top of that when it is dry. So I don't want bubbles there. And if you have bubbles, then you're going to struggle to get your little ladybug on top of the leaf. Isn't that looking cute? Oh, I really love that. I'm having so much fun doing these shapes and designs. Okay, now I want to connect the leaf to the bottom here. We're going to do a 4mm dot in green. Like so. Just below. Then we're going to move down to a 3mm tool, also same colour. Just keep sticking to your straight lines because that will keep your structure. If your petals run a little bit skew and you have to shift them, then shift them. But the structure lines will also teach you how to keep your petals in what can I say, um, with equal spacing on both sides because you'll see as, as soon as one petal starts moving closer to a line than another one, then you need to tighten up your spacing. So it's all a little bit of a telltale sign when that happens. And that's how you'll learn to, to work out your spacing and to make it nice and equal. It comes with practice, <laughs> like anything else. Then we're going to take the big ball side of the green tool with the green paint and you're going to walk the dog. Two, three, four. I can do four. If you can do three, you'll do three. Just stick to that number. So it looks like my center is quite dry. I'm going to use my 6mm tool and I'm going to make a yellow dot in the center to make my little daisy. As you can see this paint of mine is pretty see-through so I'm just going to give it an extra bit of paint on there so it doesn't you can't see through. Like that. So I want to add some more daisies to this design. I want to do them just above these petals here. So I've set the size here to one centimeter. Okay. It's about one centimeter in size. If you're working in inches, this is zero point four inches and then I'm going to place 
my chalk pencil just above that petal so that's where it's going to start and then I place my uh, compass on the straight line so the point of the compass on the straight line and then I just draw the circle and I'm going to do that with all of them kind of see if I can get them all in the same place so mine is just below this circle line here if yours is on it then you do yours on it just depends on how yours works out I'm just putting down these guidelines to help us so we can do exactly what we did in the center and then also just uh, when you put the point of your compass down just put it down very lightly so that you don't have to dig holes into your canvas if it happens it's fine because we are going to be dotting over the center but then just try and keep them as small as possible as well we don't want big holes in the canvas usually I don't mind the center one but I don't think we want extra holes on the outsides now we're going to do exactly the same thing also going to Take white and the big ball side of our green tool. Now, because we don't have those other guidelines here, from the outside, you're going to go from the top, drag it in. Okay. So we're going to go top and bottom, left and right. And then we're going to do two in between each one. Don't worry if your tool runs out of paint because we are still going to be doing a center dot on top of that one. So it is okay. All right, there's the first one. I'm going to do all of them like that. All right, so that completes our daisies. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today. I'll see you guys in part two. Stay dotty, stay magical, keep well. Bye-bye.